So anyway, I want to share something from JP uh, about YouTube TV, which is what I asked about uh, last time. And then we'll share some other thoughts as well. So JP, JP actually goes on for about five minutes. We're not going to go quite that long, but we'll let him go a couple of minutes because he has some good things to share. Fellers, it's JP uh, calling from the Northeast. Uh, I was listening to the current episode, and I hear you were talking about YouTube TV, uh, and you were considering uh, moving to it. Uh, I would have to say that it's one of the best things I ever did. Uh, I've been a Direct TV subscriber for like 20 years, uh, mainly because of Red Zone and football and Dish, because I didn't want cable. And uh, since uh, Spectrum became such a high-speed cable provider over the years, and I was looking for a way to drop some pricing every month, uh, because let's face it, the cable and the and the Dish companies literally are still charging a monthly fee per box uh, just to have it in the building. And not only that, uh, DirecTV was charging an HD f- a fee of $10 a month. And every time yeah, I man. called them to say, hey, guys, HD is no longer premium. It's it's the de facto standard. Stop charging people for it. Preach on, Brother JP. With that. Yeah. So <laughs> out of just sheer rage against... Uh, the monolithic system where I was paying 200 bucks a month just for HBO Showtime, you know, and all the channels you never watch. Uh, I, I looked at all the uh, streaming services and uh, and found that YouTube TV was by far the, uh, the best one because it had nine months of DVR in the cloud, uh, you know, multiple accounts it's on every device it's on web browsers it's on your apple tvs it's on everything and uh you know once you get used to the interface which you can customize using a web browser yeah it's fantastic uh never look back